I'm excited to share this vlog with you because it's a collection of footage from December which I haven't got around to editing yet but I think it's going to make a really nice vlog so I'm going to flash you back to December. Peace was in the star the other day and here it is but they didn't credit me which is a bit shit um yeah sorry about the lighting by the way it's like um sun's going down so it's a bit it's a bit um orangey but yeah very very proud that I've got my pa my piece in a paper gosh I have 20 minutes so I realised whilst I was editing this that I hadn't really explained what was going on in any of the clips so I thought I'd just do a little intervention and explain what was going on. So I interviewed Miles Kane. <laughs> Sorry, every time I say it I literally like I'm starstruck all over again. <sighs> just have to compose myself because Honestly, it was the best thing. He was so nice. Um, we met him in 2018 on his tour, me, Rosemary, Liv and Will. And um, yeah, he's just an incredible musician. He was in The Last Shadow Puppets with Alex Turner from Arctic Monkeys. And now he's a soloist and is bringing out a new album in January. Um, so now in a few weeks. But yeah his his new album is so good his pr sent me his new album in december so a month early and i've been listening to it and based like a lot of the questions around the new album and 
yeah it's just a lot and emotions were high because it's my first celebrity interview and it just made me realise how much I absolutely loved it. I want to do more. And for his tour, I get press passes. What's that thing everyone's doing? Since when was this a heart, by the way? What's, that, is, that literally like makes my fingers twitch. I can't hold that. Like This is always going to be a heart. Remember when I was younger, I did this in like a pic collage and put Selena Gomez doing it back. Um, and that's my profile picture for like two years. I literally thought like people would think it was real. <laughs> but I just used a picture of her and Taylor Swift or something. But yeah, anyway, hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog. jokey question but yeah. if you could get any of your lyrics tattooed onto yourself what lyric would you get? <laughs> I really, really appreciate your time, and yeah, I'm so excited to see your tour. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you there. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye bye. You too. I made a vision board, which I love. It's really inspiring. I've set it as my background on my laptop and on my iPad. Um, so yeah, I hope, hopefully that will keep me in check throughout the year. Obviously, it's not really a problem if a few of those things don't happen. But yeah, I just, I like to be inspired and hopefully this will inspire me. At the top right, it's so cute because those pictures reminded me of me living with Rosemary. I really want to live with them this year. I don't know if that's sort of... I don't know. I don't know if that's achievable um, because of everything we want to do after uni and stuff. And I don't know if our paths will really align. But we all want to live with each other. I don't know. It's something that I just think would be so good. And especially before we all like properly settle down and stuff. Um, so that was the pictures in the top right hand corner. I also have Hollywood. Um, some of Jack's family live in LA and. We were meant to see them two years ago, so that trip has been postponed for a long time and hopefully we can finally go this year because that would just be incredible and to finally meet his family and, you know, explore LA. I've literally always wanted to go, so that would be literally a dream. Um, and then we've got some magazine and some news stuff and some, like, job-related stuff. I don't really know what job I want to go into, but... I just want to be happy at the end of the day, whatever it is. Um, so I've just got a bit of inspiration sort of on my board. Um, I'm thinking sort of like marketing, social media, PR, I don't know, magazine, that sort of route. I've obviously got my graduation on there. I've got um, some podcast bits. I don't know if that's something I will start this year, but I'd love to do a podcast. And in one of our modules, we get to do a podcast. So I think that will give me like a sort of taste of it and see if I like it or not. Obviously if my mood board doesn't 100% happen I'm not going to be upset because they are very ambitious goals but yeah I just it's for a bit of inspiration it was fun to make so yeah I'm not taking it too seriously but you know if they happen I'll be happy so <laughs> that's that but I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.